If no one else wants it, should I? Is an expensive question to ask in my humble opinion. Today I want to discuss why being the only buyer for a property should be viewed as an excellent opportunity and not as a reason to back away. Inspiration for today's video comes from having shown a property to a client twice. They loved the place both times, but the property had been lingering on the market for a while and they asked that fateful question. Because the thought, for her at least, of buying a place that seemingly no one else wanted produced some fears and questions that were tough for her to overcome. What's wrong with the house? Does everyone else know something that we don't? Should I even want to buy this house? If those questions start to creep into your mind, then you really need to trust the process that you and your realtor have put into place to assess the value of any property, regardless of how many people want to buy it. There's a ton of things that you and your realtor can do to figure out if a place is right for you and is worth the price that the seller is asking. Doing a home inspection, looking into crime rates in the area, and knowing nearby development plans are a few examples of some due diligence that can be conducted. And don't forget to have your agent present you with nearby sales to justify the seller's asking price. When a house is lingering on the market, price is often a huge factor in a property not selling. And to make my point, the worst house in the entire city would easily sell in about 8 nanoseconds if it were listed for $200,000. Herd mentality can be a dangerous thing for buyers because as soon as multiple people want to buy the same place, then you've essentially lost all ability to negotiate and all that's going to happen is the price is going to get jacked up. So being a loan purchaser might allow you to get a great price or get all the terms and conditions that you want or maybe all of that. So I'm a big fan of being the only person who wants to buy a place, provided that all of the proper due diligence has been done. In my opinion, a house linger in the market usually either has a price issue or an ugly duckling issue, both of which can be overcome with the right approach and vision. I'm JB Harnish, Toronto Real Estate Navigator with Bosley Real Estate. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you watching and I hope to see you again. Take care.